slash vlog. Obviously, I am Joseph. Um, right now, I'm in my garden, and because of the success of my video about anxiety, and really telling you how to stop anxiety, I thought I'd actually give you a proper process you could actually utilize to make sure that you don't have anxiety for a specific event in the future. And in fact, it comes directly from um, a part of my training when I actually train people up to do exactly what I do. I also include a little bit about it on my Reclaim Your Destiny seminar, so I think you're going to get a lot of value out of this. So, as we said last time about anxiety, if you recall, and if you haven't seen it, it's on my blog at josephclough.com slash blog. I was telling you that the, that the mind cannot distinguish between what is imagined and also what is true. So anxiety is really, uh, the way anxiety works is the thoughts that you have in your mind are a direct link to how your body will feel. So those people who are, uh, have anxiety, and the people I see who have anxiety, usually are thinking all the things they don't want to happen. So they may be making images in their mind or having internal self-talk about what may happen in the future. So it may be for a job interview, it may be for a relationship thing, it may be for an important day. I mean, what some people have worked for about wedding speeches or public speaking. And quite frankly, anxiety happens by our mind thinking and self-talk about the thing we don't want to happen. So what I want to do with you today is a process which will let go of that anxiety. And it comes, as I said, directly from timeline therapy. And timeline therapy is a wonderful process to let go of negative emotions, such as anxiety. So really, as we know that anxiety is there is trying to protect us by all the things which may happen, it doesn't actually really help us. So this way, we're going to be able to do a process that will keep you safe, keep you protected, but without the actual anxiety. And you have to be aware there are little bugs kind of flying around here in the garden, and a huge sound right there, but that's okay. So what I want you to do is this. I want you to close your eyes now, okay, and as you close your eyes, I want you just to imagine as if you had a line of your life, so you have your future in one direction and your past in another direction. Now whether you see it, hear it, or even just know or feel it, whatever way you do it is absolutely fine. In fact, when I do this process on myself, I don't see anything. So however you do it is absolutely perfect. Now if you can imagine you have that line, and you have a future in one direction, your past in another, what I want you to do is just imagine floating way up above this present time. So you have the line out in front of you, and you're floating way up above the present, and you're looking down upon the now. Now as you look down upon the now, I want you to imagine thinking of a specific um, situation where you may feel as if you're anxious about, a specific situation. And floating up above the now, I want you to imagine floating off out into the future, but after the successful completion of that event. So if it's a job interview, it's after the successful completion of going through that event, or maybe it's in public speaking, whatever it is specifically about that event, just float way up above the timeline, the line of your life, off out into the future, and then go beyond the successful completion of that event. Now as you're at the successful completion of that event, I want you to imagine turning back and looking toward now, having gone through that event, exactly how you'd like it to go. Now if you do that correctly right now, you'll notice, where's the anxiety? It's completely disappeared because we're training up your unconscious mind how to actually act and react. Now, being in this position, what I want you to do, having gone through the successful completion, we're gonna go a bit off the script here, I want you to think about the learnings you could have. The learnings that, having gone through this event successfully, will allow them to be there for you in the future, and any other event in the future. So, just think about positive, empowering learnings. Things you can learn of how you went through that uh, situation successfully. How you feel having gone through it successfully. The type of thoughts you'd have having gone through it successfully. And the type of behaviours that you actually had having gone through it successfully. So really, those powerful learnings about that successful completion of that event. And what I want to do is imagine sending down, you could say, those resources to that you down there in that event. So you're having and sending down the confidence, the relaxation maybe, knowing what to say maybe, how to act and react, the type of mindsets that you'd like to have, maybe beliefs of self-worth, self-confidence, all those type of things, even the self-talk. Send down all those things to that you down there in that event so it just really empowers that you and you even go for it even more successfully. Now as you do that, notice how good you can feel in this situation. And notice how all the events between this situation happening, completely how you'd like it to be, re-evaluating all the way back to the present. So all the events are re-evaluating in accordance to this new way of being, with all those empowering resources. And your unconscious mind can remember this. You, the unconscious mind, can preserve the learnings and allow the learnings to keep you safe. Anxiety damages the body. 
Negative emotions damage your body. But if we preserve the learnings, that means we do not need to have the anxiety anymore. In this situation, notice how good it feels to having gone through that event, having made that change. And then what I'd like you to do is imagine looking off toward beyond this event now. And notice how those events can continue to change, getting better and better. So you can be the exact same way that you deserve to be. Someone who is confident, someone who is safe, someone who is strong, someone who can act and react and just allow the natural flow of you to be present in any situation. And look off into the future and see how wonderful your future is because of having gone through this event. And I want you, the unconscious mind, to allow this to be the new strategy to be able to go through future situations, to have the learnings and acquire the empowering resources that are there just for you. As you do that now, what I like to do is just float up as you're above that event, float all the way up and ab above the event, above the timeline, all the way back to this present time. Having let go of the anxiety, knowing the learnings will keep you safe, and these new resources, these new mindsets. And as you're floating up above the now, what I want to do is come back down into the now, and when you're ready, you can open your eyes. So welcome back. Not just notice now how you feel differently about that future event. How you feel more open to it, how you feel more confident and grounded about it. And I'll tell you exactly why this works. Firstly, we're teaching your unconscious mind that there's a better way of acting and being safe. Anxiety is there to try to keep us safe and try to um, prepare us. But the learnings keep you safe. Those learnings will allow you to be able to act and react the way that you want to. As well as that, we're getting the unconscious mind to get the resources, to figure out the type of feelings that you want, the beliefs that you want, to be able to go through that situation. And finally, by future, vi or you could say by visualizing your future, how you want it to be, you're setting the new um, strategy of how to act. <clears throat> your mind and body can't distinguish between what is imagined or visualized and what is true. That's why we have anxiety in the first place. So by continually thinking about the successful completion of that event, we're setting up a new strategy and a new pattern to go by. So that means we feel congruent, we feel aligned, and more importantly, we, free, we feel anxious free. We're completely free of it, knowing we have the learnings there to keep us safe. So what I'd like to do, if you have a situation in the future where you have a specific situation where you may become anxious or you thought about it, just notice how you can do this process. And even in your mind right now, you can go off to another time in the future where you may have had that old anxiety, but with the learnings, the resources, and the, the mindsets, and the future visualization, you'll be able to see how you can act and react differently. So I hope that was real of value to you. Uh, go ahead and keep on doing it because it just gets better and better every time. And I will speak to you very soon. Thank you. Hello there, so welcome to josephclough.com slash blog, obviously I am Joseph. Um, right now I'm in my garden and because of the success of my video about anxiety and really telling you how to stop anxiety, I thought I'd actually give you a proper process you could actually utilize to make sure that you don't have anxiety for a specific event in the future. In fact, it comes directly from um, a part of my training when I actually train people up to do exactly what I do. I also include a little bit about it on my Reclaim with Destiny seminar, so I think you're going to get a lot of value out of this. So, as we said last time about anxiety, if you recall, and if you haven't seen it, it's on my blog at josephcluff.com slash blog, I was telling you that the, ang that the mind cannot distinguish between what is imagined and also what is true. So, anxiety is really, uh, the way anxiety works is the thoughts that you have in your mind are a direct link to how your body will feel. So those people who are, uh, have anxiety, and the people I see who have anxiety, usually are thinking all the things they don't want to happen. So they may be making images in their mind or having internal self-talk about what may happen in the future. So it may be for a job interview, it may be for a 